Hey, welcome back to 2DG. Two. Got another beer review just for you. Yes, we do. What do we got? Today we have Pear Bear. Pear Bear. A sour ale brewed with pears, of course. Nice. From the Refloids. Even nicer. Our favorite. Um, I've never had this. I have, off camera. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited for him to get to, <laughs> <laughs> to really destroy his stomach lining with acidity. <laughs> That that sour, huh? It is, in my opinion. Am I wrong? Maybe I doubt it. But well, this presents an issue. Then will it be sour or just nasty? I've never had a nasty beer from Three Floyds. Me either. That's why I'm excited. <laughs> I know a lot of people think Three Floyds can be overrated, but they don't know shit, in my opinion. Sorry, never had a bad beer from them. I'm... Have I had some that maybe are overrated? Maybe. Yeah, I have. Doubt it. Not too many, considering the you know the depth of their repertoire. Yeah. So anyway, hey, this one excites me because I've noticed that since the big Apple crappy phase has gone through, now they're starting to bring in people are starting to bring in pear and stuff and peaches. You know things that just to keep making that quick buck. Uh, but Floyd's I. This has been around longer than this little pear craze, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. So I, I'm I'm actually excited. <clears throat> They're kind of this. good at everything, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Yeah, I'm here to so, try. So pear bear. Let's uh let's see. It's very cloudy, uh, very orange yellowy. Um, I don't say cloudy. I just say hazy. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Cloudy's like the one we had that have the. <clears throat> you can see the strands yeah. of. Stuff. The head, anyway, the head's not there. Um, no, the head's, and it dissipates quickly as you would expect with a sour. I'm not sure the ABV on this. It doesn't it's say. A honey bottom. golden, a light clover honey golden yeah. color. Um, label's pretty kick ass too, if you can see it. But they always are. Um, so I get a nose. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Oh um, wow. Pear, and then melt your face off acidity. Um, there's really not too much else to it. It hints on that salt smell, but it doesn't come up quite. It's like no, it's yeah. there, and then it doesn't happen. So this is this is interesting. This is going to be, I don't know what to expect. Which, it's that funk, that typical funk kind of smell that you get with a sour, but then you throw on pears. And, it, and a lot of times, you've seen in a couple of previous episodes, that when breweries say, oh, it's an apricot ale, or it's a pear ale or it's a peach ale you don't really get too much of that a lot of the times not so with this yeah and this is one of those my grandmother had pear trees yeah and it was you know it was like november before you would even eat any they were just rock hard but they had that white rock hard flesh that's kind of the smell i'm getting i'm, I'm picking that out that takes me back let's uh let's go get a taste on this i'm ready Okay. Um, yeah. Go ahead. There's a few things in life when you throw it back and it takes your breath away. And I don't mean you're just astounded and it takes your breath away. I mean you slug back some whiskey and you're like... <gasps> Catching your breath, uh, the tartness on this is way up there, and it literally takes you. You get it in your mouth, and you're kind of going, "Oh, look, there's a sweetness, and there's a little bit of tartness," and then all of a sudden, smack! There's a tartness to this, and it doesn't fade after you've washed your mouth out, swallowed that down. It gets tartar and tartar. And probably just wreck the enamel on my teeth. <laughs> as I say, as it as it's in the mouth, like you said, you get a lot of the sweetness from the from the juice of the pear, um, and then more towards the back fourth of your tongue or your palate, you do start to get some of the tartness. And like I said, as you swallow, I say maybe a second or two after it's gone is when it really hits. And from the tart level or the acidity level, you get a tan. It it, it really spikes at that point. Absolutely. And when you said it rips the enamel off of your teeth, 
You damn right. Well, and what uh, I'm feeling is after it sits there, you can still feel the tingle of tartness. Yeah. I mean, there's something still occurring there. And yeah, I don't know what destruction it's doing. Let's say, <laughs> do you get any of the malt? No. Um, do you get any sort of sweetness Sweet. other than the pear juice? No. Um, now, the pear juice is incredibly sweet. After that, though, it goes from a nice sweetness to boom. Drills your mouth with sour, acidity, vinegar-based yeah. flavor. Is it awesome? It, it yeah. is. It really is. Yeah. There are some we tried. I forget what that canned one was. That, the that was just a goza. Here goes nothing. But it was, uh, it was uber sour, but it wasn't good like this yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, but having had Skull A, I kind of come to expect it. If they have something sour, I expect it to be. In fact, what did we have recently from Three Floyds? Didn't quite deliver. Yeah, I don't know. He spilled it all over the table before I, I got much. Um, but no, I don't remember the name. However, it, it it wasn't as sour. Like you said, when you when you hear Three Floyds and then you hear anything else after, you think over the top. But in a good way. Um, that sour wasn't... I mean, it was good. It just wasn't, you know, over the top. Skull Olay, like he said, we have had it. It's super sour. This and one it's is cherry up based. there. Yeah, that one's more of a porter style, but with aged in... You know, barrels with cherries. Um, yeah, this one I don't I don't know too much of the barrel aging or anything like that, but I do know it's with pears. So, um, for the style, oh, let's the go ahead style. and let's go ahead and get the ratings real quick okay, from Rate Beer. Let's do that because um, I think we need to define yeah, it for, for a the style. Bit. It is a sour or wild ale, which you come to expect. Um, they give it a fifty-seven. Um, now you move on to overall, they gave it a 93, so they bumped it up almost 40 points. Yeah, I'm not so, sure how that happens. Yeah. Um, so, go ahead and start with the style. Uh, for the style, you know, I'll go... I, I go at, this is a tough one. I want to go a 10, but at the same time I feel like maybe not quite. Do you feel that way because you think people are going to think you're a homer? Well, that's part of it. I, I know people are going to think I'm a big fanboy, and that's all there is to it. Um, at the same time, just because it's sour doesn't mean it's a quality sour. But I feel this one doesn't lack in any area. I'll go a 10. I think, you know, you could add and make it even better, but I don't think it's missing anything on its own. So I'll stick with a 10 on the style. Yeah, the... The only thing I could think of is maybe you get some of the malt in there. That to me maybe would round it out a little bit more, add a little bit more sweetness to it, but also bump up the alcohol. Um, for me, 10 style. Um, I get that pucker your mouth bitterness. I also get actually some of the sweet flavor to it. So yeah. if you've ever had a sweet and sour sauce, it's kind of what that is. You get you know a lot of the elements of that. The sweet's just right too though. No, yeah. I mean, you don't just go pucker up and nasty like if you're sucking a lemon or... Yeah, lime. it's not like if you bite into a lemon, you're like, ugh. Yeah, no. there's, there's a nice... It's it's perfectly balanced as far as that goes, but then the sour decides at the end to go bam. Yeah, it really, it really <laughs> punches you in the mouth at the back end, but in a good way. Yeah, and the pear's there. I, I think it's hitting on that. No, and, and that's true. It's not just a generic sweetness. Like, you definitely know... You're getting the sweetness from a pear. And I've had some that almost take like a chemically induced sweetness. Like they've added some alum or something yeah. weird that's going to pull, you know. And, and you can even get that from the from the sour notes. But again, I think it's, you know, strictly from the bacteria that they're using. I don't know what they're using. If they're using lacto or retinomyces, I don't know. Um, I'd say it's lacto, but I don't well, know. I can't remember the backstory on the barrels when we went there. They were French, weren't they? Weren't they French barrels? Well, you only use the, you know, it's there's no telling what kind of barrels they're using. I think you said right earlier now, they can only use it like seven times or something like that before, yeah, before it completely. Well, but that's that's for away. the tannins and stuff. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily break down the, you know, Bertinomyces or whatever. Well, that's going to be almost a wild introduced right. type of character anyway. But that comes out of the yeah. woods and stuff. So but, uh, anyway, overall, overall, okay, this one's hard to preface because. You have to be in the mood for a sour. Okay, I'm in the mood for a sour. 
I'll give it a 10. It strikes on everything I want. It's super sour. I love sour. It's uh, balanced. It's got that sweetness coming in. And, uh, yeah, I'll live with that. I, I, I'll give it a 10. Yeah, um, the ABV on this, I'm seeing on Ray Beer is 7.5, so it's not sessionable. But, yeah, you're going, you're going for sour. Personally speaking, 10. Um, it has it has everything I want in a sour, and, yeah, and it even adds a little bit of dimension with the sweetness up front. To me, if it had even just the malt sweetness with the sour, it would be a 10. But you add in the fruity, you know, kind of uh, nostalgic factor, even, yeah. when, you know, for us. Um, well, the pears, and then you, yeah. know, you add in the, the intense sour at the back end. It greatly surpasses what I want. It's like I said, start to finish, it's a 10 already. I think anything you say... Well, it needs this, or it could use that. It's just going to add to it. It's yeah. already, it's already a home run. You're just adding additional likes to it, you know. Yeah, and and again, this is by Three Floyds, and you know they pretty much nail everything that they do. You can call this, you know, homers or whatever you want, but I dare you to say I'm wrong when you <laughs> drink this. Oh, yeah, ten across the board. Yeah, I wasn't sure I was going to go there with this, yeah. but it did hit the home run. I think we've had a couple of those in the past couple episodes where we've had straight, straight tens, yeah. but uh, well deserved. Yeah, excellent execution. Pear Bear by Three Floyds. Smash that like button. Leave us a comment and hit the subscribe button. Keep up to date on what's going on here. Watch our videos. We'll talk to you if you want to leave a comment. Yeah. If you want to send us something, take it. If you want to tell us we're wrong. I'll take that too. And frankly, if we can get a hold of stuff like this, we're willing to trade it with. <laughs> oh, us. yeah, so, absolutely. You know, if you don't believe us, make us good trade. We'll send it out. Too easy. Yeah, take it easy.